One week ago, government officials escorted FBI Special Agent Timothy Tebalt out of the bureau. Tebalt is accused of political bias in his handling of the Hunter Biden laptop probe. The 25-year FBI veteran allegedly acted to kill off an investigation of then-presidential candidate Joe Biden and his son just weeks prior to the November 2020 election. The Tebalt resignation comes amidst growing concerns about political bias at the bureau and the unprecedented search of a former president's home. Can the FBI restore its reputation for even-handedness, equal justice under the law? Well, here to weigh in is retired U.S. Special Agent Eric Karen. Mr. Karen is author of the book Switched On, The Heart and Mind of a Special Agent. Eric, it's good to talk with you again, and you have to weigh in on all of this for us. First, what do you make of the exit of Special Agent Timothy Tebalt and also FBI whistleblower allegations? A political yep. bias at the FBI. Well, Gary, thanks for having me again. You know, um, I, I think there's a long list of names that should be walked out of FBI headquarters uh, today um, because um, he, you know, he couldn't have done what he he did in a vacuum. Other people had to approve um, his actions. So there's a long list of names uh, of FBI officials that should be walked out of that headquarters. And you know, I'm calling. If not for the abolishment of the FBI, because other agencies, quite frankly, can do what they do. There's Secret Service and the U.S. Marshal Service, Homeland Security, ATF and DEA. You know, if we don't do that, then, you know, there needs to be a cleansing of the FBI for the American people to, to regain trust. And right now, the trust is not there. So the FBI needs a, a thorough colonoscopy. Quite frankly, a blue ribbon panel needs to study them and, and dissect them and get rid of the cancer, uh, because the federal, federal Bureau of Injustice, that's what I'm calling it today, it, 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 it can't stand here in America. We need the American people need to have trust in their law enforcement officials, both at the local level and as and at the federal level. This type of action we've seen over the last, I'll say over the last probably four or five years is actions we see in third world countries, not in America, not in America, Gary. We need to we need to cleanse the Department of Justice. We need to cleanse the FBI and we need to cleanse Homeland Security, or I call it Homeland Insecurity. Well, when did this political bias begin creeping into the FBI? And is it from the top down? I mean, Chris Ray, does he accept some responsibility for this? Is it just coming from a few low level and mid level agents in the field or from the top? Yeah, you know, Gary, great question. In my experience, 25 years as a special agent, and I and I was very fortunate. I worked domestically as well as internationally. I served in Washington, D.C. for five years. I served in congressional affairs. Um, and it's it's at the very top, you know, because they set the tempo, they uh, set the policies and procedures. It's stemming from the White House and Maine DOJ. And so the worker bees, of course, see, under the, say, under an Obama administration, you cannot refer to illegal aliens as illegal aliens. Now you have to use the word undocumented under Obama. And if you do use the word illegal alien, you'll be um, potentially uh, punished. And so the work of these down below are following the orders and directions, if you will, from the White House and Maine justice. And so it, that's why I'm calling for a Maine, if you will, cleansing at the highest levels. Uh, the American people need that right now. I mean, this is unprecedented, like you said, Gary, never before. And this is all politics. Donald Trump, the former president, like all presidents, have documents with them that are classified or sensitive documents. He's the president. So we need to understand that this is nothing but politics. And the American people, I think, in November are going to speak loud and clear. Well, that Mar-a-Lago raid was definitely unprecedented. That's never happened to a previous president before. And even had documents were attorney-client privileged uh, that are now That's in the right. hands of the FBI, private information of his that they probably didn't have rights to. So, Eric, you're plugged in, you're switched on. So what is Attorney General Garland and the DOJ really after, and how do you think all this is going to be played out? Well, let me just say, this, this is going to be played out like the Russian hoax investigation. As long as they can, they will hit the drum. 
that Donald Trump violated a law when, in fact, he didn't. This should have been handled administratively. Um, and, and, and only really in espionage cases do you see a potential charge of mishandling classified documents. Um, so the Department of Justice and the White House will let this run as long as they can in the hopes that it sways the American people. Well, but I think the it'll American probably run smoke. right up through uh, the end of November uh, after the election. <laughs> We're out of time, Eric. I'm sorry to cut you off, but uh, retired U.S. Special Agent Eric Karen, author and host of the Switched On Life podcast. Thanks for sharing those insights. We appreciate talking to you. Hey, Gary, stay switched on and thank you. God bless.